Imagine an opportunity to volunteer to be away from your family in an enclosed 1,700 square foot area for 378 days for more than a year with three other people in nine rooms, including one shared bathroom. A common area and a small area outside that isn't really outside was made to look like the surface of Mars. Would you do it? Well, 4,000 people applied for the four spots to effectively be human guinea pigs, and these were the chosen ones. Commander Kelly Haston, Medical Officer Nathan Jones, Flight Engineer Ross Brockwell, and Science Officer Anka Solario. Those are the four volunteers of NASA's Crew Health and Performance Exploration Analog, a.k.a. CHAPIA experiment, a simulated mission to Mars housed inside the Johnson Space Center in Houston. Yesterday, the four entered a sealed 3D printed fake Martian habitat where they'll stay for more than a year in the name of science. These are not astronauts. The mission commander is a Canadian scientist, as a structural engineer from Virginia, a doctor from Illinois, a Navy microbiologist, smart, accomplished people, yes, but these are volunteers offering to participate in basically an extended physiological experiment to help NASA figure out how people respond to being in an environment like a manned Mars space mission. They'll go through the motions of simulated spacewalks, science experiments, trying to grow crops, but really it's about their reactions to these things, how well they handle what has got to be a tough experience. The crew will have access to phone calls to the outside world, except the calls will have a 22-minute delay, which is what it would be like to communicate with Mission Control if you were on Mars. So, no sun, fresh air until next July. Everything, literally everything they do, tested and monitored by NASA scientists. These types of missions are not new, but this is certainly one of the longest. Joining me now, space journalist Robert Perlman, founder and editor of Collect Space. He's been following the progress of the project since it was first announced two years ago. Robert, thanks very much for coming on the show. Appreciate it. So how do these thanks types of experiments me. typically go? So normally they're shorter. Normally they're 45 days in length or a little bit longer. Um, they're, they're simulated missions to an asteroid, for example. Uh, there have been longer ones. There have been a 560-day mission uh, that Russia ran um, to simulate a full trip to Mars, not just the time on the surface, but the time to get there and back. This is the first time NASA is doing one this long. Wow. All right. I want to keep showing not the four. I want to show the, the house uh, that they're going to be uh, living in there. Um, you know, wh what are they looking for in terms of the psychological effects? I mean, I'd assume that, you know, it's going to be really hard to be in there, right, and be living this way for over a year. Well, the reason they're doing this is to learn what are the, the stressors that a crew would undergo on Mars. If you're locked inside a, a small habitat with only the ability to go out by spacesuit into uh, the barren land on, on Mars to do some geology, collect some rocks, look at the sites, which would be absolutely phenomenal, but... Um, the but you have to survive with four other people inside uh, for up to a year and a half. Um, you have to find out what what triggers them. Is it that you're eating the same thing every day um, and you're limited to space food, not fresh food? Uh, sharing a bathroom, as you mentioned, um, even the normal things that that take here on Earth for families and and people who live together, uh, you know little ticks, little pet peeves. They want to find out how best they can put together a crew and how best they can provide them the resources to avoid those conflicts. Couldn't they just watch one of those reality shows where they put celebrities in a house together and see what happens? <laughs> well, it's funny, you know, there, there is a show right now about putting celebrities on Mars. And in, in some ways, what they're showing is exactly what these astronauts are going through. But the big difference is, and they're not astronauts, they're astronaut likes. Um, same, re same requirements and same uh, uh, qualifications as real astronauts, but not they won't be flying to space. Um, but it, the real difference here is that they will be monitored by scientists, by researchers yeah. to really learn really? what it takes to I've go I've got to 10 seconds. Are they getting paid for this? Uh, there is compensation offered. All right. uh, they did not disclose how much. Okay, well, I'd be very curious to know how much. Robert Perlman, thanks very much for coming on. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching. 
Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.